Sneaky Entertainment. Hello and welcome back to Derail Valley. This is Sneaky Entertainment. Uh, today I just want to do a quick little tutorial on how to start the DE6 locomotive. Um, I have had a request to do the steam at some point and I will but um, I'm going to stick with what I know for now and these are very similar to what I work with myself. So this is this is the cab. It's actually quite spacious. It's actually yeah, normally there's like a stack here with fire extinguishers and breathing apparatus, and, you know, first aid kits, and then there's a seat for the second driver and there's a seat for the main driver. But you know you can get a sitting position, which is nice. Right. So first thing you gotta do is there's a few stages to this. It's 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 simple, but there's more to it than come on, open up. Okay, smack me in the face with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Open. Oh, this thing's just going to be annoying, isn't it? Come on. How? There we go. Right, so in here there's some switches, just like in the little loco. We'll flick them up. And we flick the big one up. Once this door out, get out of the way, door. Come on. That's better. All right, flick this one up. All right, there we go. We have power. That's connecting the battery up. Now we walk out here, and I think it's well. It must be one of these doors because they're the only ones that are open. Open sesame. There we go. All right, now here, I'll open this one as well. This is this is all pretty, pretty realistic. Let's be honest. I mean, for what it is, it's it's pretty good, and it's yeah, I like it. So I've got to prime the fuel. Um, usually in real life, I do it for about 20 seconds, but I think as long as it's done, it's all that matters for this. And then we flick the switch, or that way. Come on. There we go. Close the doors. Come on. I'm going to leave that open because why not? And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's not complicated. There's a, there's a the most complicated part about that is getting this stupid cabinet open. Honestly. Alrighty, now I'm going to I'll just move the turntable around, and we'll just take this thing for a little stroll down the line. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Lights, cab light, um, train brake, independent brake, throttle, reverser, dynamic brake, which I'm not sure if that works yet. I did experiment with it the other day and didn't really see any braking happening, but it could have, could just be me. So we'll go forwards, release the brakes, lots of sand, fuel, oil. Revs, engine temperature, speedo, and we got brake pipe pressure, main res. Um, these two we don't really need at the moment. Actually, not sure what they are. It's just some maybe if you had an auxiliary res. Yeah, I don't know. We don't we don't use those. We don't have them there. We only have the two brake pipe and res, and they're actually both on the same gauge and you just have two needles on the one gauge but uh, horn all right let's go forwards now these things are very powerful if they're anything like the ones we play with they are about 2500 2800 horsepower each so they are big, big, powerful locomotives. Alrighty. Alrighty. So release the brakes. Alrighty, and we'll go forwards. And these will have no problem hauling much heavier trains.
power off on this like coast. Um, but anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. How to start one of these up. There have been, I have seen there have been a few guides come out, but I haven't, I've watched them and I sort of haven't really liked any of them really. So I thought I'd do my own and I hope it's helpful for you guys and um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And if you like this, give it a like and a subscribe. Thanks.